Ay, ay, ay. My life bitch who is your mess, ay. Can't keep my dick in my pants, ay. My bitch don't love me no more, ay. She kick me out on life, bro. Hello and welcome on back to the channel. That was a terrible opening, but this is going to be my theory video on Frozen 2 and where did Elsa powers come from? I will also have the trailer reaction be posted up after I edit it and edit this video, so they should both be going up at the exact same time. But where did Elsa's powers come from? This is something that we have all been questioning since the very first Frozen movie. We have all been asking, how did Elsa get her powers? Where did she get them from? Was she born? Was she cursed? We don't know. But something occurred in Frozen 2's trailer, right? So in the trailer, right, we see directly, directly see um, that her mom is looking up at the light. And the light is the exact same thing from Frozen 1, right? <clears throat> I don't know what it's called, but I'll put the name on the screen because I don't remember that much stuff from Frozen. But... Seeing the mom look up at that has made me soon now wonder, is Elsa even the king and queen's daughter? And I know some of you out there are probably like, well, yes, Jamie Reaction. They're that, that's their actual child. If they stated that, then they stated that. But you have to think about it. Elsa is the only one with white hair. Her parents, neither of them have white hair. Anna does not have white hair. And I know some of you can just be like, well, this could probably be something from her powers. Maybe her powers gave her white hair. But if that's the fact, right? And I know that I'm thinking probably too much into it. But Elsa was born with her powers. What if the king and queen did not actually conceive Elsa? What if Elsa was a prey, right? A prayer from the above, from above, you know? Like how, okay, what if, right? The scene of seeing Elsa's mom looking up at the light in the trailer was pointing out this amount of the fact that maybe that's her mom praying for a child. What if Elsa parents could not give birth to a kid at first? What if they was having a very hard time conceiving a baby? And soon after they prayed to the light to let them have a baby right so you know how most disney movies or most movies always have not actual god but something that people see as a god or see as something of like a signal of hope or light and they will pray to that like how dumbo's mom right wanted a baby and yet this birds brought a big eared elephant to her and what if that's how Elsa was given her powers. What if we haven't been thinking a little too much into it? What if we haven't been thinking about some matter of fact of what if, what if Elsa and her parents are not actually related by blood, but more so Elsa is a prayer, a blessing from above. I thought about this by seeing the trailer and I seen how Elsa's mom was looking up at the light and I also seen that in the trailer too, you get to see a young Elsa, which that crossed the entire line and she wasn't cursed because we would have seen Elsa with different hair if she was cursed. So that leaves Elsa to being a blessing. Her parents prayed to have a baby and yet Elsa came to be. Elsa was sent from the heavens. This would also make sense on why Anna does not have powers. People have theorized that and Anna had fire powers due to her hair being, you know, red. And Elsa had ice powers, of course, by her hair being white. But what if her parents conceived Anna because they didn't know they, had, they could have a baby at first? That would make total sense. It would explain why Elsa has powers and Anna doesn't. Because it's confusing how one child has powers and the other doesn't. Think about The Incredibles. The Incredibles, both the parents are superheroes, meaning their kids are going to have superpowers. And this is understandable if both the parents had no powers. That's confusing on how only Elsa was given powers, but her sister Anna wasn't. We also seen that even the trolls couldn't tell if her powers was a blessing or a curse.
Born with the powers are cursed. Uh, born, and they're getting stronger. Cursed. Meaning that they probably did not know that the mother, the queen, made a prayer to the heaven, to, to, to the light above for a baby. This would make sense on totally on why Elsa's powers is the way that they are. And plus the second movie, I suppose that has like some different elements going on. So I don't know, maybe I might just be stupid. I was thinking about this theory and I was like, maybe it was debunked. And maybe some of you out there are like, yes, it's probably debunked too. But if you have ever seen Shameless, which is a Netflix series that has five seasons, I think actually has more. I, I don't really remember that much. I haven't seen it in a while. I have to rewatch it. But in Shameless, there was these two couples who could not have a baby. They kept trying and trying, and yet they could not conceive. So the woman asked her mother to conceive the baby for them. And then after, they could have twins. They had actually, they actually had not twins, but triplets. But one of the babies was not strong enough to survive, only giving them twins, and now they had three kids total. One from the mom, and one from the wife. Now think about this and apply this to Frozen. Whereas Anna is the conceived child that they did not know that they could have, and Elsa is the blessing child that they asked for. That would make total sense but this is just a theory and this is only something that maybe won't even be proven on into the movie of uh you know frozen 2 also something i want to point out at the end of the trailer we've seen that little fog area right what if that area is where anna and elsa parents was sent remember we don't know what happened to them on that on in the wave. We don't know where they ended up. Their bodies was not found. They were presumed dead. But something that you must remember, if you can't find the body, there's always a chance that they're still alive. Okay, because I have one of this from anime. Anime always tells you if you do not find the body, they're technically still alive. Okay? So what if that fog area was a magical place that Anna and Elsa's parents was sent? And something that I'm going to pull out of my nerdiness, if you have ever seen this movie called Spiderwick Chronicles, how the woman, the daughter of the man who invented the book, if you've ever seen Spiderwick, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, go watch it. It's a good movie. It's on Netflix. But the daughter was very old now. She's actually a relative of the main characters. Okay. So the one of the twins ends up finding a book. He releases the uh, protection of the book, making all the magical creatures now well known that the book is now out. So they go over to the relative and they find out that maybe, 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 that her father was presumed dead. But it was actually revealed that he wasn't dead at all. Actually, these magical creatures that flew around him, picked him up and took him to a magical place to keep his knowledge of magical creatures from getting out. He's alive. Oh. How are we gonna get home? Arthur Spiderwick? Thank God we found you. You don't even know what we've been through. Uh, I'm sorry. Do I know you? Um, not really. Uh, Lucinda, your daughter, our great aunt, she sent us. Lucy? She's only six and a half years old. No. No. She's 86 and a half. Well, that's nonsense. I, I was with her only this morning. Uh, was that yesterday? Or no, that was 80 years ago. Listen, you gotta believe me. You're my great, great uncle. Help me out, guys. Guys? What's happening? What's the matter with them? Sylphs. Their songs must have altered my perception of time. That is what they do. Lucy is an old woman now, you say? That must mean that my wife is... Oh my God, what have I done? Look, I'm sorry about all that. Really. But you gotta help us. I found your book. The field guide? No. No, not here. Not now. 
Don't listen to them. Follow me. Here, under here. Quickly, while they're distracted. The book, give me the book. Oh, the field guide. The field guide. You should never have read this. You should not have brought this outside the circle. I know, I know. But I brought it to you so you could destroy it. Destroy it? Oh, are you mad? I have uncovered all of their secrets. And this book is my validation. This book is my life. You're 125 years old. Your life is over. And your daughter spent her life without a father all because of that book. I never imagined that the things I'd learned could possibly have led to this. Look, I know stuff I wish I didn't, too. There's nothing I can do about that. One thing I know for sure is that you gotta destroy that book. What's this? What? What's wrong? Where's my book? What is this? Symbol attack. He switched the pages. But the real book is still inside the circle. It's safe. No, Mulgarath got pages. What? He'll break the circle as soon as... As soon as the moon rises, I know. That's when Mom will be getting home. I gotta get back. No, they won't let you leave. They'll keep you here for the same reason they're keeping me. We know too much. And yet, that could be what happened in Frozen 2. Maybe Anna and Elsa's parents was going to die on this shipwreck, but some magical creatures came and helped him. Remember, there's a there's a there's a freaking water horse in the in the in the trailer. That water horse could have got them and then took them to this magical place to protect them. But we don't know. It's just a theory. That's it. But I'm gonna end up right here. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll speak up next time. Peace.